Mr. Chatterjee, uh, you Hello. have been one of the person who are really shown. Uh, you are an example. You are a role model for um, thousands of youngsters about how, from from an ex, uh, from an ordinary uh, person, you have taken your business to an extraordinary level, not just in India but in so many places. And um, now that we are thinking about entrepreneurship as one of the major, major trust, and we are trying to put it in education as Professor Moitro has so brilliantly told us. So we'll come back to you and please tell us about a little bit of your story also, and how this can really uh, you know, inspire a lot of our youngsters. You know, you, my understanding of entrepreneurship is all about that you need to be enterprising. The basic word entrepreneur comes in from the mother word called enterprise. So when you are working on any kind of a project or when you have a dream, it is not necessary that you need to have money. A lot of people confuse the fact that if you have money, then only you can start an enterprise. See, enterprise is all about a big idea. Enterprise needs, in today's context, it is a knowledge economy in which you need to actually understand the business. In our times, we could not understand so much about the business because with the kind of limited education uh, of a graduation and then doing a catering school, we were you know, thrown into the system. I worked for the Taj Hotels. And then, of course, Anandavadya Putrika. Both the places, we learned a little bit in terms of working environment and the operation side of business. Uh, we were not at all uh, taught about anything to do with finances and how to handle money and ensure that you sustain an enterprise. Enterprise is all about not just making money. My understanding would be it is all about your passion. Now, if you don't have a passion about anything that you wish to do, whether you want to be a restauranteur, whether you want to be a banker, you want to be anything in life, so you need to have passion for that subject. I understand that it is all about passion, hard work, and then at the end of it, it's discipline because you need to be disciplined to do anything in life and definitely entrepreneurship. For, that, for, for example, there are lots of companies who are going bankrupt because of the fact that they did not follow financial discipline. So they did not understand that debt is not the right route. Debt equity is fine. But then, you know, you can see that lots of people have leverage themselves beyond a particular point, then they can't come back and there, are, there have been fiascos within the you know, entrepreneurial world. Back to the fact that education, we never learned anything about entrepreneurship. I was also working for both the companies, Taj Group or Anandavaja Putrika, but there was something within me which said, because you know, food has been my passion. So I said that fine, why don't we do something beyond doing advertising and actually started an advertising agency which followed with the food understanding that okay let's go and cook and make a small restaurant knowing nothing about restauranting except in my catering school and maybe a little bit of you know exposure in the advertising business we said that no so that was there was a passion it was a mom and pop shop and we started very humbly called only fish which then became a little serious because many people were coming you will see that many of these small shops and stores have started. I'm only talking about food and beverage because I'm a foodpreneur, entrepreneur who sells food or creates an ambience for food. So, at, you know, so you will see them. They're very enterprising. A lot of people are quitting and leaving their jobs and also come into this kind of a, you know, feeling that, okay, you can do that. But in our times, when I actually got into starting my business, my mother asked me whether I will get a salary or not at the end of the month. So the overall understanding, I come from a middle class family and there is a lot of insecurity which is built with entrepreneurship. Yes, there is, but there's also insecurity in jobs. So my point would be, if you don't perform, you're out wherever you are. One thing is very important that besides the fact that, you know, you will be having a bank loan, you can get support from everybody, but you need to have that conviction of the business. You need to have that passion, which will override anything else. But then there are failures. There have been so much of learning. So, but then at that point of time, if you give up, 
then you are not necessarily looking at an enterprise which is sustainable. And enterprise also needs sacrifice because as a leader, you are lonely at the top. So you need to not just create an opportunity for yourself, you need to create an opportunity for people who are working with you and for you. So there is a great responsibility. For example, today we are going through a kind of a patch in which we really don't know because the restauranting business is under threat. You know, the COVID-19 has brought, brought a new kind of a culture because people are scared to go out. They don't know whether things will happen. Death is something which is kissing them. So going, going to a restaurant becomes challenging. But we are finding to ensure that we do many things like contactless ordering, delivery. We are trying to understand that how can we protect the whole environment. We, sh we should not make a restaurant like a hospital because people, it's a business of happiness. But we are working on many ideas and ensuring that how would we gain the confidence of the consumer so that they understand they're in a safe environment because we know what the future will be. We are trying to get out of that because we are enterprising. We will make sure that we will not leave and run away.